sound. Ready? Yep. Samuel Guilford Riders Hub here again with head coach Rob Paternostro. How are you doing today, Rob? Doing fine, thanks. Off the back of a BBL Cup semi-final defeat, but then a win over the Plymouth Raiders. Sum up, sum up the last week for us. Yeah, it was a tough loss against Newcastle. You come to two minutes left in the ball game, maybe a little under two minutes in a tie game, and they made a couple plays we didn't. Uh, right there, you know, that was two weeks in a row where you know, we had some tough defeats. Defeats that hurt, uh, no question. But uh, again, we go down Friday and, um, and get the job done in Plymouth. So we turned it around at the end of the week, which was uh, important. But uh, yeah, the guy's still disappointed over uh, not getting a chance to play in the cup final. Uh, we um, you know, felt like that um, it was a winnable game, obviously, being that close late and um, not to get it done hurt. But um, yeah, when you look at the league play so far, um, it's solid. So we're five and one, the one loss being the, the late loss to the Lions. Yeah. Too. So yeah, we've had a good start, especially on the defense. Man. In, in terms of the Plymouth Raiders game as well, a brilliant stat, 31 wins in a row over the Plymouth Raiders. Uh, of course, only you, Connor and Jamel seemingly left from left from the team that first won at the Plymouth Raiders all those years ago. A brilliant stat. Yeah, they've had a lot of good teams too, you know, and it's always a tough trip. And we've had so many close games. Mm. You know, I think when you look at the 31 in a row, you think there's probably a lot of blowouts in there. I don't think yeah. there is at all. I think a lot of them have uh, been close games. and. For whatever reason, we've been able to pull them out down there and, um, you know, uh, give our guys credit for that throughout the years. But, um, but this year's team, to, to beat a team two weeks in a row on the road at their place, that's tough. That's challenging. And, uh, and we showed some toughness uh, in that game. It wasn't going great for us in the first half offensively. But in the second half, we really got our, our shooting going. And, uh, again, defensively, I think we're only averaging 67 points per game given up, uh, which is far and away number one in the league. And, the guys have really uh, earned that because they uh, put the work in on that in the floor. A double game week as well. Worcester Wolves on Friday away and then uh, Glasgow Rocks on Sunday at home. Two contrasting teams, but two two important games to get your championship form even even better than it currently is. Well, Sam, they're all important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, they're, uh, when you play 33 games, there's a lot of them coming and they're all important. But yeah, uh, yeah Worcester should be a fun one. Uh, they've got their imports in over the last few yeah. weeks. And, yeah, when you see their imports on paper, they look really tough. When you start watching them, they look good. So they're a good team. It should be a really good uh, game uh, between uh, between us and them. Um, and then uh, Sunday we play Glasgow um, in a neutral site game, yeah. which, uh, home game, uh, just eliminated from the schedule. Um, you know, as a coach, sometimes those home games mean a lot, but um, it is what it is. Uh, we'll uh, you know play on Sky Sports on Sunday against Glasgow. Who, a uh, much different team than we played them last time as well. I think their two imports uh, have made yeah. a big difference, and uh, you know they're playing better basketball. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's turned into uh, a two-game uh, on the road weekend. Um, so uh, it's going to be important that we get contributions from everybody. When you start playing two games in three days like that on the road, you know that your bench is going to be important. Speaking of Worcester, of course NBA leaving, but of course, like you say, in terms of the free imports, still still a quality team despite the loss of Brian Manning. Yeah, Brian Manning, a big loss for them. He's a tough cover. You know, whenever mm. you play him, it's difficult to defend. Um, but, um, but yeah, they got their, uh, you know, a team that they signed originally in, finally. And um, I like what I saw with them on tape. You know, I think they, um, they all bring something to the team. Um, and they have some good veterans there. Bob Nick uh, yeah. in the backcourt's been excellent this year. You know, regardless of what the stats say, he has good stats. Yeah. He's a good basketball player. And Jordan Williams, uh, you know, throughout his time in the BBL, he's improved um, and uh, he's been playing good basketball for them. So straight straight from there on Sunday to, to the Worcester Wolves away on Sky Sports, of course, it's a massive shame that the WBBL Cup final has fallen by the wayside, including, of course, for the Leicester Riders women, but a good chance to strut your stuff on Sky in front of the cameras. Yeah, I feel for uh, the women's team. Uh, coach uh, Sunberg's an excellent basketball coach. I love the way his team plays and, and an opportunity to, uh, to to play for the trophy. Hopefully they'll make that up. I'm not sure it's mm. going to happen, but, uh, you know, there's a Sky Sports uh, availability on Sunday, and I guess we were picked to... Um, to give up our home game and, uh, <laughs> and head down to Worcester. Um, so uh, Worcester, we'll know Worcester, the, the town of Worcester uh, this weekend. We'll be there all weekend. But uh, yeah, look, it's uh, tricky. Uh, now it's going to be an early morning start. So it's a tricky game playing a team. Uh, Glasgow was much improved, no doubt. And um, yeah, uh, you know, we get an opportunity to um, 
to play the second game in three days on the same court. Uh, just, uh, just finally summing up those two games, how's preparation been in training this week ahead of uh, a start of a busy, hectic schedule in the championship? Great. I think that uh, you know we had a couple of days off after Friday night. We played that Friday game, get a couple of weekend mm. days off. We started on Monday here with you know a lot of time. We knew we didn't have a game till Friday, so we got some good work in this week. Love the way the guys are playing, uh, and I told them that uh, after the Plymouth game. You know, I'm, I'm very happy with um, you know the work that they put in. Mm. You know, sometimes maybe efficiency might not be the best or whatever highs and lows throughout the game, but. You know, there's never been a time this season where I don't feel like this team comes to work, comes to play hard, and uh, that's why it's been so fun coaching. Thank you very much for your time, Rob. Thank you. Cheers.